of marriages the woman's top four needs number one security and the way that they feel the most secure is that they have a husband that is selfless and sacrificial he's not going down and buying a new car every time she turns around without talking to her first he's not getting into debt number two non-sexual affection most women want to be hugged they want to be held they want to be kissed and they want you to tell them that you love them and it's not gonna lead to anything else. And you're okay with that. Number three, open and honest communication. Women want to talk to you and they want you to talk back to them. They don't want you just to grunt at them. Just talk, communicate. Number four, this is a big one. Women want their husbands to lead. This is not always happening in most homes. They want them to lead in their marriage. They want you to lead in romance. I'm making plans for dinner and I'm taking you out on a date. Like I'm not always just saying, I don't know, what do you want? I don't know, what do you want? That's not the way you dated before. So why are you staying married that way? They want you also to lead in finances. They, uh, they also want you to lead in spiritual things. They want you to lead in praying for your family. They want you to lead in bringing your kids and your family to church. A man confirmed it. We're not. We're not difficult. We only need you to give us security. Prove our home. Prove your life to be a secure place for us. That's all you need. Take the lead. Once you take the lead, once you do all of that, once you prove to be secure in our movement, our love, our life, once you prove to be that king by the side in our life, that's all you need to do and you get everything you want. Mm -hmm. We should understand that you, the men, are not perfect. My husband is not perfect and I don't expect everything to be perfect. But I thank God that he gave us wisdom to know what is right or what is wrong. As long as you're doing the right thing and you know the role of a man, if you don't know, your wife is reminding you. Plus, the ones you know. So take the lead. Do the right thing. Be that man for us. Let me say this. If circumstances has put your wife in certain situation to represent you, probably financially she's taking the kind of roles, meaning the leading role in your family, she is representing you. You need to help her. You need to check up on her. You need to lovingly follow up with her and make sure that every decision she's making is also the right one. Not selfishly, because we are too smart to know when you're doing all of that. Selfishly, just to get what we want, probably go for another woman or call us a full week. We know. So, and once a woman sends that, it's not going to play good too. So, you have to be genuine, lovingly genuine. Love does not do shady things. So, if you love your wife, you will not be preached to a lot to show it, to be the man in her life. And once you do all of that, take the lead. Take the lead. Guide us on the road and we'll be there for you. I love you guys. Bye.